The Old North State Club was once again the host for the men's ACC Golf Championship. And after two beautiful days on the course, the players would find the final round conditions much different. Rain, light at first, heavy late, would cause the course to become much more challenging. Florida State held a four-stroke lead over Duke at the start of the day. But as the round wore on, these two teams would take turns leading the tournament. For the individual champion honors, the golfer whose play was outstanding for 54 holes was Georgia Tech's Anders Albertson. The sophomore took a two-stroke lead over FSU's Chase Seifert into the start of the final round. Albertson began the day on fire, carting four birdies in his first six holes to get his score to 15 under for the tournament. Seifert also played well, making birdie here on number six. But as the conditions worsened, the scoring opportunities became few and far between. Seifert would finish tied for second at 10 under. Mikey Moyers carded six birdies for the day. Unfortunately, he also had four bogeys to keep him in the second place tie with Seifert. The final day belonged to Anders Albertson. He was able to withstand the field and also the weather to win his first ACC individual championship. His 54 hole total of 201 set a new record for the lowest ACC championship score, breaking the mark set in 2008 by Webb Simpson. Well, I've done a really good job over the past month of putting myself in contention in some tournaments, and uh, I've learned some things about myself and how I perform best. And uh, this week, I really treated each day as its own tournament and uh, tried to forget about the, the previous round and go win that day. Um, so just coming in the final round, that's pretty much all I was trying to do is just win this day. And I knew I took care of that, and then everything would be all right. Back to the team championship. As the leading teams headed into the back nine, Florida State held a slim lead. Here at the 11th hole, birdies by FSU's Doug Letson and then later by Rowan Caron widened the gap. Duke's Brinson Paolini got a stroke back also at the 11th to keep the team battle tight. As these teams headed to the final holes, the weather got much worse making playing conditions miserable. In the end, Duke edged in front and was able to withstand the conditions and take home the team championship by three strokes over Florida State and Virginia Tech. It was really just a survival test, and uh, that's when I thought to myself, this favors us. You know, we've, we played well in this, and these guys have already had some success in it. So, you know, those last two holes, it was tough, but I felt good about it, and I know they, they played great. For Duke, it was their seventh team title and their first since 2005.